what is going on, guys? Today we're going to be looking at Kanye West. And apparently he almost got locked up for owing taxes, $50 million, apparently, from what I see. Let's get right into it. I actually think, and that's the way I talk, and now this morning I found out that they were trying to put me in prison because what they did was uh, I, put, I moved $140 million into uh, J.P. Morgan. And I said, I want to talk to Jamie Dimon. Like, look at me. I'm just going in naive, you know, multi-billionaire. Like, may, maybe Jamie Dimon will let me in on some deal flow. Wrong. <laughs> and I'm just like <laughs> banging my hands like, I want to meet with Jamie. And I start complaining online. And then they debank me mm. for complaining. And so I'm, I'm about to get debanked. They're like, you need to go to Trump's, the bank, AXO, whatever. You got to go. And I'm like, I've been. Yeah, I've seen that. They took $75 million, or at least froze it. They froze $75 million up in his Chase account and also closed his accounts. That is ridiculous. If, if anybody thinks that's acceptable because of what he said, man, I, I can't agree with you on any level, and I don't even you know think we can ever see eye to eye. I don't think we can ever see eye to eye if you actually agree with what they did to Kanye West with the um, freezing of his accounts and everything like that. I've been trying to buy my own bank for the longest, and then we figured out how to get my own bank. It's like 50 million, 75 million. So I'm about okay. to buy my own bank, but then as you're about to take the money out, here comes Adidas with a $275 million bill for marketing funds that they agreed upon. Because I said to them, hey, I'm the marketing, give me the marketing fund which proves by the response they got when they you know, stole the designs and said, we're gonna not call them Yeezys anymore. So this is what I was already fighting Adidas for. So I'm fighting Gap, get out of Gap, fighting mm -hmm. Adidas. And then I deal with this little bit of noise from you know, Zionism. Hold on really quick, before he talks about the Zionism and all of that stuff, $240 million. That bill was $240 million by Adidas. The marketing bill. What? Really? <laughs> and this is how they get away with these things. When these artists, when these people, I guess, because I can't even just consider Kanye West an artist anymore. When these people sign these type of like contracts, this is what they get. This is what happens. Two hundred and forty million dollar bill. Wow. From the fashion world, where they use this plant named Gabby, who's obviously like some kind of CIA agent, knows nothing about fashion. This is a certain thing. When someone can't dress, you know that they're not like a fashion person. <laughs> they're just there as like the society, like the control that they try to use with celebrities, which has now been broken, right? Because yeah. you know where it broke. I'm not, I'm, I, okay, I want to get on like LeBron <laughs> in a second, but I'm going to come back to this and just talk about this morning where. Uh, you know, I'm not going to mention her name because she's a nice lady, but someone at Cohen Res Resnick tells me, and I tell my, all of my finance people never use the term a lot, but they said, okay, you're going to have to pay a lot of taxes. And that made me feel like they're just like waiting, like we finally got them. We finally can put them in jail. And I was like, can I still run for president in jail? I found out I could. So I was like, okay, <laughs> that's, that's fine then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, be, it'll be okay. But, but, but if, you were, if you were Jeffrey Epstein, they wouldn't touch your bank account. They would allow you to break the rules, regulations, just like JP Morgan and Chase did, just like Deutsche Bank did. So there is an issue to bring up with that. But when it comes to the race stuff, I think this is an important discussion to have because what, I think- I, I, have to, I have to complete this thought. You guys got to- Okay, go ahead, go ahead. All right, because I'm- He said, let me finish, let me finish. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He's pretty long-winded, though. It looked like he was finished for a second. I didn't even notice that he interrupted him. I'm talking about literally finding out that they were trying to put me in prison this morning. Watch this. So This morning? Yes. So not, you know, not come to my house this morning, but I found out, okay, so they froze. They put a $75 million hold on four of my accounts. Ridiculous. And then they said, you owe a lot. Of taxes took me like six hours to find uh -oh. out how much a lot was he said <laughs> well around 50 million dollars now i'm going to different cfos like okay so would this be tax evasion because i'm obviously not the most financially literate person on the planet i was just a child basically like when you become famous you you stop growing at that point i became famous at age 24 wow. and i had handlers around i had my mom around different things is kanye a red pillar that's what it sounds like he's like a, one of those like red pill people except um 
I know he's not, but that's ridiculous. Once you become famous, you stop growing. As in, you stop like elevating your mind. Is what he's is that what he's saying? Like you don't learn any more skill sets. That's ridiculous, actually, because you have like a lot of people that take control over your stuff and help you with a lot of stuff. Wow, that's ridiculous. And it was always like you go from one handler to the next handler to the next handler. So now okay, I'm see. having I, I I get to actually learn how to run a company. I get to learn how to, uh, you know, uh, to count. Really, I had I was like Pablo in a movie. It was like I didn't even know where to put the money, like literally making <laughs> three hundred million dollars cash. But you're just like a high priced. You know, we're not going to use the S word just because it's just like too passe to use it. But it's like next, you know. OK, come on now, Kanye. I don't like that when he uses the word slave. Like, I don't like when he uses the word slave for anything to do with him or any other person that makes a sub like substantial amount of money because the definition of slave is you working literally for free like you know involuntarily too it's like a classism type of thing of course you know we adopted the the name for you know african american slaves and all that stuff so traditionally it was literally class like a part of classism so come on Next year, I was supposed to make $500 million in royalties. And like, no one needs this amount of money. But when I would work on homeless shit. $500 million he was supposed to make, or is he still making that? Because if he's not making that, I want to understand why he is not making $500 million next year. That's a lot of money. And he's not too bothered by it either. That's crazy. Nice. Shelters and ideas. I'd have a contractor. We won't say what race. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> the, oh my god you know they'd be tearing I down the contracts it's all about you know position it's not a all right that was the end of the video that was a good video kanye west is he's hilarious when he like what he said at the end i won't say what race it is or is it hilarious i don't know i've seen some disturbing things that i might make a video on actually except with that being said kanye west is still a go to me even though some of the stuff he said it was was probably like problematic it was very problematic what he said some of the stuff some of the stuff some of the stuff was okay but like the the Hitler stuff and all of that stuff, come on now. It, that's a little bit too much. But um, with that being said, my name is Jay Dottie. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. Peace.